I really came here not to be a politician, but because I love to ski and mountain climb and kayak, and I love the Colorado outdoors. Bingo, then. All of a sudden, I'm elected to the legislature, and I started looking at attempts to bring Colorado's Olympics in. And these two converging forces in my life came together. Over a decade of planning and plotting and selling, and finally it happened. Denver, Colorado was awarded the 1976 Winter Olympic Games, the year of our bicentennial. It was supposed to be Colorado's shining moment, but as it played out, it became one of the most bitter political campaigns in the state's history. Do we blame Colorado or, or do we praise Colorado? There are two sides to it. The people of Evergreen found out that they were to be the cross-country competition. They said, sometimes we don't have snow, and sometimes we have snow, but we don't want all those people pouring into the Evergreen area. You're talking about thousands and thousands thousands. Where do you feed them? Where do you do anything? Those towns weren't developed at all. Or they'd say, well, we'll go to Vail. Okay, you can just see <laughs> everybody going to Vail. At that time, there still wasn't enough room. You'd have to have built at public cost, huge accommodations. People, uh, in my opinion, some of them are almost afflicted with some hysteria. I've said before that this is a 10-day event and with not all that number of people involved. We're in the lucky position we don't have to spend taxpayers' money to promote the state of Colorado or its tourist industry. Lord knows we can hardly handle the growth we have. I think that the whole fight against the Olympics was a two-pronged battle one of which was the people that were concerned about the environment and growth and the second uh, prong was people who were very concerned about what this might cost Colorado. The history of the Winter Olympics up until 1972 was a history of red ink. The original bid thought that we could have the Olympics for 14 million dollars. By the time they finished it was well over 90 million dollars. Colorado was a state divided, igniting civic pride and public rage. Bumper stickers exclaimed, Olympics, $100 million snow job. In November of 1972, an initiative went before Colorado voters on whether to fund and therefore host the Winter Olympic Games. What happened surprised the world. I mean, it was astounding to the rest of the world, <laughs> absolutely astounding. This was the great revolt of the people. They turned it down, and it was the first time that any town or country had turned down the Olympics. I think Denver made a huge mistake, and I don't think that the Olympics will ever, ever come back to Denver in any form whatsoever, because the Olympic Committee will always remember that Denver voted it down. Big mistake.